Hi all, welcome back. It's Desert Rose here. And today, or tonight, wherever you may be, I'm going to talk about the Holy Spirit. Now let's find the definition of the Holy Spirit. Um, in Christianity, the third person of the Trinity, God, is spiritually active in the world. So, how did the Holy Spirit come about? He came about because... Jesus was about to leave. Jesus was about to leave this earth and he wasn't going to be here to be able to guide, teach um, and just be there for people. So, John 16, 13, 14 But when he, the Spirit of Truth, comes, he will guide you into the truth. He will not speak his own initiative but whatever he hears he will speak and disclose to you what is to come he will glorify me for he will take of mine and disclose it to you john fourteen sixteen. i will ask the father and he will give you another helper that he may be with you forever so jesus didn't want to leave us alone because you know he was only here a short time on this earth he isn't going to be here right up to now for instance or later generations he was only there for a short period of time but he didn't want to leave us alone so as he was saying that God was telling the Holy Spirit in heaven you know it's time for you to come down be with the people protect the people teach and guide and direct these people so after Jesus left the Holy Spirit came down you know, the Holy Spirit has been around forever, like before time. Like, he was working with God and Jesus up in heaven before the earth was created. So it was already in the plan that the Holy Spirit would be sent down and to be over the earth and protect you and I. Um, so, you know... He knew, he always knew that, the Holy Spirit always knew that he was going to be here to protect us. In Acts 2.38, Peter replied, Repent and baptize every one of you in the name of Jesus and forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a gift from God. You know, it's not like God just threw down the Holy Spirit and be like, here, you can do what you want. No, there's still rules. There's still things that God wants us to do. Like, he wants us to listen to the Holy Spirit. He wants the Holy Spirit to guide us, direct us, teach us, tell us things of the future. Obviously not everything, because, you know, there's always that risk of us and the you know, God and his will in our books, you know, there's always got to be only like tidbits told at each time. Otherwise the enemy would come in, kill and destroy. So that's why God is quite secretive, because it's all about protecting you and his will. Acts 1 8, but you will receive the power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witness in Jerusalem, and all of Judah, and Samaria, and to the ends of earth. So God sent us the Holy Spirit so that we could help others, as well as the Holy Spirit helping us. And for instance, like the Holy Spirit could say, Don't go drink, go don't do drugs, don't go do this and that, but go over here and do this. So that how he works he's going to help us he's going to guide and teach and just show us the way because we don't know what tomorrow is going to be that's for the holy spirit to do to walk us through to lead us through to tomorrow because if we didn't have the holy spirit we would be lost on this earth we would just behave like other people who don't have the holy spirit or aren't interested i know there's a harvest coming up and we are bringing people into the fold. But just those people that aren't interested, God does want, doesn't want us to be like them. Otherwise, you know, at the end of time, we would go to a place we don't want to. So he's trying to help us. He's trying to make sure that we don't go to that place. So he's always planned since before time to give us the Holy Spirit in order to make sure that we get to that place to go home to our father 
So it is very important to listen to him. In Isaiah 11 too, the spirit of the Lord will rest on him, the, wis- the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and of might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord. So we need the Holy Spirit because he's going to make sure we know everything that we need to know. Because he has the wisdom. He is the spirit of truth. He doesn't lie. He's not like the enemy. He absolutely tells the truth. And there's nothing wrong in anything he says. So that's why we have to trust him. Believe him. Have faith that he's telling us the truth. Never doubt the Holy Spirit. Yes, I know we're humans and we have our moments that we doubt. But that's not what God wants. He wants us to... Listen to the Holy Spirit. Listen to everything. Take it in and believe that it's true. John fourteen twenty six. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and remind you of everything that I've said to you. We weren't around when Jesus was about, but he was talking to his disciples when he said this. But it's still true today. We need the Holy Spirit to teach us. We need the Holy Spirit to guide us, be our advocate. He's also our advocate in heaven. He talks positive about us when, you know, we're doing these things and these things that he wants us to do. Like, it gets fed back to God. God knows what we're doing because the Holy Spirit is still telling God all the good things about us to keep God happy and, you know... Back in the Old Testament times when people were doing wrong, God would get angry. Well, now God is going to be happy with us because we're still doing all the things that he wants us to do. Because the Holy Spirit is backing us up. The Holy Spirit is basically just like saying, these people are doing your will, God. You know, Have a, just love on them. Just, just keep going with them. Keep working with them because... You know, they obviously want to please you. So, you know, we don't always have the best times in our lives. And that's what the Holy Spirit is there for. Romans 8.26, in the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us in wordless groans. So if you can talk in tongues and you're having a low time, for instance... The Holy Spirit will take over. As I said before, he is our advocate. He speaks for us. He talks for us. And so, you know, whether good or or in low times like that and we can't handle things, the Holy Spirit takes over. So there's many ways and many purposes that the Holy Spirit is used for that God has asked him to do for us in order for us to, to keep going and moving forward with God into the tomorrow. So just keep trusting the Lord, keep trusting everything, and just believe the Holy Spirit is there to help you and to guide you and to take you to where you need to go. He's not going to steer you wrong. He's not going to take you down a dark alley and get you murdered on purpose. No, he's going to direct you away from that dark alley he's going to go direct you to some fun place maybe not quite literally because you know life's not always fun but he's just always going to be there to protect us and make sure we're not going to get into that trouble if we listen to him sometimes our own you know our own thoughts take over and say we should go do this thing but the holy spirit is always talking to us he's always saying No, do this, do that. This way is better, not that way. So always listen to the Holy Spirit. Give the Holy Spirit a chance and you will see for yourself how great he is to you and how much he loves you in order to protect you, to keep you safe, to keep walking you in the right path. Just always trust the Holy Spirit. If you don't believe me, talk to the Holy Spirit. If you don't know what you are to do every day and you feel like you have no direction, ask the Holy Spirit and I guarantee you the Holy Spirit will give you that guidance. 
He's probably already told you, but you've not listened or you'll not understand. So it's always good to re-ask and re-ask and then ask God if you still don't understand. Say, can you tell me in a different way or show me in a different way that I may be able to understand? Because they're always there to help and guide. They're not just going to give you a direction and expect you to know how to do it or have the answers or all that. No, the, the Holy Spirit is there to help you and always will be there to help you. So don't ever feel that, you know... Oh, the Holy Spirit doesn't care about me, or the Holy Spirit's not going to do this for me, or do that for me. No, that's not true. That's not what Jesus' purpose was. Jesus' purpose was to send down the Holy Spirit in order to help us, direct us through life, and make sure that things will go, I guess, okay. Yes, we have bad patches in life, but that could be lessons. Lessons the Holy Spirit is teaching us in order for next time we could do something differently or you know use that teaching to be able to help someone else who's going through a rough patch so the holy spirit has many different uses and that's what god's purpose was so just you know wait on the holy spirit listen to the holy spirit the holy spirit is always there the holy spirit is our advocate he's always advocating us in heaven he's always guiding us like he does so many things all at once he is very powerful and you just need to trust him i know you know sometimes it can be hard to trust and sometimes we have ourselves in a rut and we're just like man this is just too hard i can't do this anymore the Holy Spirit will never give up on you, even if you feel like at times you're going to give up. The Holy Spirit will never, ever leave you. The Holy Spirit will never, ever make you feel like that. That is the enemy. The Holy Spirit is the one that's uplifting you, the one that's carrying you through all these tough patches. Because the Holy Spirit does everything for us, more than we probably could ever understand. Maybe we'll understand in our next lives if we get there by listening to the Holy Spirit and doing what he asks but you know right now being you know the flesh can block a lot of things we don't know everything and that's the best way because if we did know everything then what position would God be in and he wouldn't be able to protect us with all his power and knowledge so that's why the Holy Spirit is there, because we don't have the knowledge and wisdom to everything. Yes, there's people out there who actually think they do know everything, but that's not the case. If that was the case, Jesus wouldn't say, I'm going to send you the Holy Spirit. No, so the Holy Spirit is our answer to everything. So just believe and trust that the Holy Spirit is on your side he's not against you like the enemy he's always there on your side wanting to protect you wanting to guide you wanting to lead you in the right direction and keep you on that right path and of course if you go off the path slightly or do something wrong the Holy Spirit's going to drag you back on there put you right in place it could hurt it could be hard but that's because you know we're leaving our selfless desires behind and we're following what the holy spirit wants us to do so always let the holy spirit take over let the holy spirit lead i mean what have you got to lose apart from eternity if you did your own thing but I guarantee you, you wouldn't regret it if you did take that leap of faith and follow the Holy Spirit all the way through. And I'm not saying I'm perfect. It's It's been a hard yard, you know, me getting on to a right track. And yes, I have been off the rails many times, but God's never given up on me and he won't give up on you. Like... He gets that Holy Spirit to keep us in line. He'll pull us back. He'll keep doing it too until we die, basically. 
he will keep pulling us back on track and if we move off he'll pull us back because he uses the Holy Spirit for that guidance and wisdom and direction so just just love on the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit loves on you all the time so just don't give up on the Holy Spirit and don't think negative about the Holy Spirit because that hurts the Holy Spirit if you're not like working in line with the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit has feelings the Holy Spirit just wants to do right by you and by God because the Holy Spirit is your advocate for heaven as well so you know just do as the Holy Spirit asks because you never know what the Holy Spirit's going to do for you as, as well. You know, sometimes you could feel the Holy Spirit, but on the times that you don't feel the Holy Spirit, it doesn't mean the Holy Spirit's gone. It's just sometimes you don't always feel the Holy Spirit. And then, you know, it's nice when you do feel the Holy Spirit. And that sort of gives you that little bit of boost, you know. But it doesn't mean the Holy Spirit ever leaves you. The Holy Spirit never leaves Jesus said I'm going to give it to you I'm going to get the father to give it to you and that's that he never said oh the Holy Spirit's going to be with you a short time and then leave no it never said that the Holy Spirit will be with you till the day you die if you're going to die or whatever God's got planned for you I don't know I don't have your books but just trust the Holy Spirit and as I said if you don't know ask always ask Jesus has always said in the scripture it's good to ask questions it's good to ask especially if it's going to benefit you and God's will so just you know Always listen to the Holy Spirit. Never give up on the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will never give up on you. Just keep on going. Keep moving with the Holy Spirit. Even at times you might feel like, I can't do this anymore. This is too hard. I'm getting too attacked. Too much every day. It, it doesn't mean the Holy Spirit's gone. I think the Holy Spirit in a way is protecting you a lot from what, the enemy could actually do to you because you may feel the attacks you may feel the spiritual stuff going on but because of the Holy Spirit we are protected a lot from the enemy's full force so just trust in him go to him for guidance and direction every day when you wake up in the morning ask the Holy Spirit what do you want me to do today ask the Holy Spirit to be with you protect you throughout your day just talk to the Holy Spirit talk to him always even throughout your day or when you run up to situations and you don't know what to do ask the Holy Spirit ask your Holy Spirit to guide you direct you I mean you may not always hear the Holy Spirit but he hears you and he will find a way to let you know what he wants you to know. And yes, we may not always be happy. And we may not always have the words to say to to God. But if you speak in tongues, I don't, but some people do. The Holy Spirit will be their advocate when you don't know how to have the words to speak. And you're upset and you don't know what to do. The Holy Spirit will talk for you on your behalf and tell our Father what's going on because He also knows what's deep in our hearts. Even if we don't always know, the Holy Spirit will always know. Especially because He was creating us. He knows every part of us and He understands us more than we could ever understand ourselves. So He is always going to be the best advocate for you. The one that's always going to be there to protect you. To go to the Father and say, 
oh, this person's having a really hard time or this person needs a little more from you today. The Holy Spirit will do that for you. The Holy Spirit will give you what you need. Just trust the Holy Spirit. Trust the Holy Spirit is on your side and would never ever harm you. Would never lead you down the dark alley, but always lead you down the right path. And as I've said, if you do go down the wrong path, the Holy Spirit will pull you back. He'd never just leave you in that dark place. He'll pull you back to his path so that we can continue to have him lead us down that right path until we are here no longer. So, yes, I think that's about it. I mean, you just constantly talk to the Holy Spirit. Keep him in your mind daily. Keep him in your prayers. Just talk to the Holy Spirit daily. Never give up. Make him important. And just live by what the Holy Spirit says. Alright, thank you for listening. I hope this blesses someone. Um, just um, if there's anything you need to know, take it to the God and... You know, ask him. Ask him about it. Ask him to explain things. Ask him where you stand in this sort of situation. Just talk to the Holy Spirit. I'm available for prophetic words. Uh, if you want one, they're free. Uh, so do as God directs you. Leads you. So it's always about the leading. Um, if you're... Uh, lead to donate a uh, link is in description but I always just expect things to be Holy Spirit led I'm not going to force you to do anything that you don't want to do with donating or whatever just do as the Holy Spirit leads and that's our message today and we'll see you next time thank you